Lewis Brindley of the Yogs cast. How are uh, you? I'm fantastic, Perian Flax. Oh my god, I'm so excited. For and why another... are you so excited? Dota cast, well, da- uh, dad. Boom, but well, and dad. I... <laughs> this is why. <laughs> <laughs> I got in. Look, yeah, I got in with are. the game with my. I was so excited to play with with Daff, our hero. It was almost like playing with a celebrity that I've not, you know, I'd only seen online. I was right. so excited to play with him, and we we said we were going to lane together. So he picked Bristleback, which mm. is, is one of his best heroes, and mm. I picked Spirit Breaker for the lols because Spirit right. Breaker's a lot of fun. Yeah, I will yeah. say this: you are too melee going into a Slark who likes melee heroes because he gets essence shift from them and presumably a dazzle who also quite likes playing against melee heroes so this this could be interesting let's get on with the game anyway and see what happens um, here nobody yeah, bought stuff in the bad. period of the, the game when they specifically oh, give you time to buy stuff and now everybody's shopping you've gone boots first a bold play but given that <laughs> given that spirit breaker gets bonus damage based on his move speed uh i don't i don't hate it it's uh people do it on Earthshaker as of because you're playing pos four so just for i know there's a lot of nubs that watch this pos one is your carry pos two is your mid pos three will be the offlaner pos four is whoever's accompanying the offlaner and the pos five in this case witch doctor will be the person supporting the safe lane these guys don't seem to be aware that now is the time friends to get busy and get in there they're just not daff has bought no items of course, because I guess he forgot it happens. And they are now rolling out to him on his they're slowly on his coming. Career. This yeah, is, I mean, so you literally, when you have strategy time, I just love to know what strategy is taking place in that time when you are meant to be buying <laughs> items and handing each other wards and stuff like that. There is no, no strategy is happening. It's just time well, to the to these nabs. <laughs> it's just waiting. Yeah, it's just waiting time. Scooby Doo is looking to get hooked here. Uh, he's gonna. He's, he, is he gonna go for it? I think the Enchantress has spooked him. Let's see if he decides to try and get this. Step aside, Enchantress. Here comes the Hookadoo. Oh, you wads! They would well, have absolutely had it's him. A That's classic a Pudge hooking into you know, not quite into the tower, but but close to. But the moment um, that you see that in, the the mana being taken off by so. Uh, it, Anti-Mage has this mana, mana break talent where every time he hits you, he burns some of your mana, which does yes. extra damage to you and just takes your mana off. But the moment you see him, has he has that instead of blink, uh, you can hook him. This is why the advice that good players give to new players is don't level up until you get to the lane because you never know what you're going to need. What if they jumped him there? If he hadn't leveled up, he can take blink and he lives. Easy peasy. Mm. Scooby-Doo just decided to own himself on Centaur has taken Retaliate, which means every time you hit him, it hurts. And uh, yeah, the entire wave is pushing. This is looking good for Centaur. Oh my God. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We are going back in time a moment. <laughs> because Daff got first blood. In comes Dazzle around the back. Neither of these lads has a stick. They're leaning against a, a bristle. Neither of them has a stick. A nice little bash there. Can we get another one? Oh, the fairy fire from Daff gets a kill, and then he does die. He does die to the tick, the Q tick. Lewis Brindley on the charge. Oh, punch! He ate a fairy fire. He did. Man. The fairy so fire gave him percent chance to proc, and I got like you got next a bash to, next to none on those. No, bases. it's one in six. That is what seventeen percent. So you hit him about that many times. The centaur I died. Did. So what did he die? To I, the, I think he the, got maledicted. Oh, he got too maledicted. Maybe I think he got down. maledicted and punched, or he just got low from from clicking from this anti mage. Anti-Mage, five last hits so far. Probably could could get a few more. But uh, a nice little pull here from Witch Doctor. Well done, Witch Doctor. So yeah. the Enchantress is doing the wrong thing in that she's determined to just click the Anti-Mage. She can't really click him that much. The Witch Doctor fucked it up, though, uh, and is now going to pull There's the creeps in a weird top, way. Actually. Well, there is. They're going on Dav again. Again, no stick on these lads. Dav, just keep your back to him. But you oh, see, that's the thing. Uh, Rizzle back at low health, uh, yeah. low levels doesn't He'll get have there. much protection. He will get there. Also, where were you? I was, uh, I don't know where I was. <laughs> Give him a punch. I don't know what you were doing, but you were not there. If you'd been there, I think it's a kill. Anyway, Anti-Mage is still quite low on health, but uh, he's farming slowly but surely. How's mid oh, going? Oh, he's not getting these. How is he not getting these? Oh, Witch Doctor just going in. Oh, here we go. It's a going in charge. everywhere. This is the, the Witch Doctor is like guaranteed to get kills. You don't need to keep going, Scooby. He's dead. He's dead, Scooby. Yeah, there you go. They got him. Lewis chasing down a Dazzle. Almost got a bash on him. I think if you charged in there, you might have been able to get it. But yeah, with the boots, you can give him a real, a real, uh, give, give him a real tough down. time. Yeah. Look at this. They're full health right now. Madness uses his Q. He's got 
A lot of stacks of... He's got two quill stacks. There's the charge. Very nice. Some more quill stacks. One more quill stack. Job done. Get this dazzle as well. Clonk dead. Easy peasy. So the way Maledict works for anyone that doesn't know is... You, you put it on someone and the damage, it does a little bit of damage over time, but then the, the health that they've lost since the Maledict started then affects them as bursts of damage. So if you can think about the amount of damage that they take in a fight, if you get a big Maledict on them, they, that's their ass. Like, they're just done for. Let's see what Jukes, Mr. Prank, he's got up his sleeves. Oh, he's going to go for the TP out. Beautiful. And a charge coming south. Long way out. <laughs> Never do this. <laughs> Never do this. You're gonna go. You might go right through this pudge, which would well, be quite funny. But just a flyby. If he hooks you, yeah, you're fucked. <laughs> you're a fuck. Oh, he didn't turn yep. rot on in time. Oof, oh, he didn't have lucky. boots either. He didn't have boots either. So that's fair enough. So and generally speaking, Lewis, there. if you're charging, oh no, Daff, your courier. Oh, the micro. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> oh, oh. oh Daff. <laughs> What's oh, that's doing? some of the best micro I've ever seen. <laughs> oh god, I'm so sorry. That's alright. So when you're doing oh. these charges, try not to go through areas where they're invisible. Generally when there's a spirit breaker in the game, you want to come at, a, at a, an oblique angle. For, so it run down here and then charge so that you appear out of the trees. They, they're not expecting it. There's another dead centaur. Good old Maledict, man. What a spell. This action, action top is non-stop. Oh, this bash. Uh. Oh, he's dived away. That's intriguing. Dived turn your back, Daff. you got to turn your back. He didn't turn his back. That's the most important thing to be doing as uh, as Bristleback is to keep your back to the enemy and quill that way. I understand. Once they start running away, then you can clobber them. But um, if his back is turned, he takes less damage. That's the thing about Bristleback. 40% reduced damage if you've got your back to the enemy. So just think about it. That's all I'm saying. Bristleback's default In goes pudge. attack is very This is bold. As well. This pudge yeah. might be terrible. This is not like last week. He's purged the cold snap again. Here comes the eat. It's not going to do enough damage. Little hook a do. Yeah. And it's a death. Silliness. This pudge is not like the lad last week, I'll tell you that. The last last week's pudge with the Halloween costume knew what he was doing. This one, he knew. not so much. But then oh, again. here's a charge. Straight through. <laughs> right through traffic again. See ya. <laughs> oh, that was close. He's coming top. He's looking for Dazzy D. I, I would well, cancel this. Yeah, well done. Well done. Well, I, I was told by you, I think, that I should just charge around. That's that's, that's your job, actually. You're the four. Yeah. Daft's creep skipping here. Is that is that okay? Yes, he is. So, so creep skipping is uh, it's good because what it does is instead of the you having to sort of farm creeps under the tower, you kill the wave here, and your creeps will just come plowing down here. Uh, it does mean that the Slark has to farm under the tower, which sometimes can be tricky because the tower is hitting the creeps as well. So you kind of throws your timing off. Oh, there's a fight brewing here. What can Moon do? Gets the cold snap up on the uh, Dazzy D. He should be dead. Oh dear, but Moon has walked into trouble. Need a don't have charge. I'm for a bash. <laughs> you are waiting no. for a bash, but it's not Give coming. Moon is going to escape here, maybe. Oh my goodness, Lewis is doing it, by the way. Nice. Oh, Moon does pay the ultimate price. Lewis gets the charge off on the Slark. Guess the urn yes. charge. Here's Daff as well. A lot of quills coming in here. You can't purge the quills, baby. You cannot purge the quills. The goo. We don't have charge for long. Daff. Daff, please. Oh, that's a Not damn quite. shame. Not quite. Well, Daff can't interrupt his TP. No, he can't. He can't. No, he can't. But, oh my goodness, Pudge is here. Oh, shit. Well, he's just dead before he is he just dead. get there. Yeah, he is dead. That was quick. But that was a good rotation from Pudge. He came down, he got a kill. That's that's good. That's great. The moon went top and, and died. So the uh, the invoker looks like he won the lane, but his rotation since then, around the 10-minute mark, not been the best. Let's see what he can do next. He's almost got his Midas. Uh, is that pretty a slow. standard thing now? Yeah, you like... get Midas. Invoker needs levels. More, more than, I'd say, more than any other hero. He's, like, so level dependent. I'm still level 5. You are, but that's a nice tornado meatball combo. Should be trouble. In comes AM. The Maledict on the Centaur. He's got a... Oh, the, the ult from the Witch Doctor comes out. This should be a dead Centaur now. And the Sunstrike comes in as well, just for good measure. Scooby-Doo needs to body block this and charge it so people can get there. You don't have charge. You don't have the mana. This is this so is... weird watching myself. It's, I'm fascinated, though, by <laughs> listening to you. I'm not actually... I do. I keep forgetting I'm actually supposed to be cast in this game. So... That's all right. From inside the game, like, I don't think I have any... Daph, pretty... your, your bristle back, mate. Keep your back. You're back. Well, he's, he's got his ult now, though, so he is actually hitting decently, but yeah, this is a but risky play. He, he needs to turn his back. 
Oh. Yeah, this Ooh. was no good. But the, the last thing you want to see is a bristleback just running straight forward in a fight, like you, and going for punches. His strength comes from the quills, uh, and, and the more damage you take, the more quills. So you're sending quills out manually, but you're also auto-firing them when you take damage from Bristleback. Centaur's doing something here, where is he? Running away, wise. Yeah, we got three bot. Witch Doctor is on a killing spree, really. He's looking to bongos people and grab them. This is fairly them. normal for Witch Doctors, I will say that, because Never, that's early that's on, really they tend impressive. to get a lot of kills, yeah. It's just Maledict helps you secure kills that you otherwise wouldn't get. Because there's no escaping from it early on. You know, you can't, yeah, you you can't do get, anything. Yeah, they have to run. If they run up a maledict you, you're like, oh, You're in big trouble, yeah. Pretty scary. If they have a stun and any kind of burst damage, it's trouble. Oh, it's here comes Daff. Is and Centaur is down. Lovely, lovely work from Lulu there. That was really nice. They do have Grave. Oh! Oh, he gets the Grave off and everybody's here. Oh, oh Daff is still going for it. Arrives. In comes the Tornado. Slut I think the Bristle might just be able to get him here with a Quill. He does. Can they get more? Daff, just keep your back to him, buddy, and keep Quilling. Keep quilling, baby. Oh, the Sunstrike misses. The hook comes in and misses. Scooby-Doo might be able to get this guy here. They might have madness. Does he? He's taking his mana. He doesn't have leap. He doesn't have the mana for it now. Very soon, one of the mana. There's the stun. Lovely job. Four kills. Terrific stuff. That was great from you, um, the ult on the Centaur. It, it's a very powerful way to, of getting people back where you want them. Someone's about to escape. You use the, the Spirit Breaker ult to turn them around and bash them back in. Because you appear uh, behind them. Yeah, it's very wherever, nice. Yeah. Very nice. Well done. Oh, you've, you were charging top, which was nice, and then you just cancelled it. That's interesting. Um. <laughs> you just stand still. <laughs> well, the creep that I was charging, I think, died, and it didn't. Oh, if the creep died, go to the next it should, yeah, it should go to the next one. But it, if there are no creeps visible near What's there, then it won't. What's happening with this enchantress, and why is she's she dying a lot? Why is she... so? She's good against right-click heroes, but the problem is, so anti mage tries to attack her when, when she gets her ult, which is untouchable. Right clicks are slowed against her. Oh, the sunstrike just whiffs. Oh, Daff, yes. Well, he turned um, around. Oh, yeah, the slots come in. But Bongo, is this a Maledict. Yeah, they could have got him here. There's the tornado, Slark's lovely stuff. Come in. He is, there's the meatball. This is a dead slot. Man, slot's so survivable, though, because he dark packed it all the... Yeah, oh, but he's going to die to Maledict. He's going to die to Maledict. There it and is. And I guess the dark pact actually damages him to make that Maledict even worse. Yes, so it can't be purged. A maledict can't be purged. All right, it cannot okay. be dispelled. Neither can bristles. So, for Slark, he can't get rid of the stacks of quill spray that build up. And remember, the more stacks you have, the more damage they do. Slark would normally, against most heroes, would use Dark Pact, which is a strong dispel. But maledict cannot be dispelled, and quills cannot be dispelled. And right. you can still just bash him because bash also pierces spell immunity you guys actually have a good team to deal with slot well done well i don't think that was intentional i think that was just just happened to to be that way I don't think bold. Anyone at this, this is bold does counter picks um very brave from lulu not sure what that was but you secured the kill for your in joker and now moon is going to try to fight dazzle Oh, and he dies. Oh my Goon. god, that Dazzle did well. Dazzle man, is very hard up. to man up against. It's going to be tough. But Daff massively overstayed his welcome here. Can he dodge the Pudge Hook? Let's see. Oh, Daff, you god! But they did get the Centaur charge off. They get the E off. This could be trouble for young Daff. Just needs to keep his back to them and keep quilling. Don't turn around, Daff. Do not turn around. He wants Just keep that quilling. Pudge, though. He's Just like, keep quilling. That pudge. Keep quilling. Oh, can he quill? He gets it. Anyway. He gets it. And those quills, look, they start to do so they much do damage. They do so much. So if you look at how they stack up, it's nuts. They really do a lot of damage. Daff seems yeah. to think he's invulnerable. He does need to be careful. He's fl Well, as Bristleback, you feel so tanky. You fling yourself around. Yes. It's, it's good fun. But looking at... So looking at last hits and denies... Centaur and Slark are comfortably on top for last hits and denies, but that doesn't tell the whole story, Lewis. Because going to net worth, it's actually Invoker and Bristle that are highest on net worth. Invoker because he has a Midas and has been getting lane creeps, and Bristle because he's been doing the same. And Invoker also has 10 kills, which is worth a lot of money. And Bristle also has 7 kills, so a lot of their money's come from that. Yeah, look at the score, 28-11. Yeah, really you guys are doing great. Us, but it doesn't Mr. Feel Branky like in it. trouble here, though. Uh, oh, no. He needs uh -oh. a glimmer badly, but he's not getting it. He's going for an axe. He's going for shard axe. God bless these lads. Oh. <laughs> what does shard do for him? The shard for him means he can do the switcheroo, so he can turn into a death ward and dodge spells and stuff. But that was terrible. Oh, do they have dust? 
They're just going to give them the rotting walk down. Oh, they did have a... Uh, look at this. This dazzle knows what's up. Although we've, we're ahead, like, it doesn't <laughs> feel like much is happening, right? Well, obviously, it's weird because I sort of know what's going to happen. So right. I can't really... Yeah, you're 3K ahead. Coming up to the 20-minute mark. We were so 5K ahead. but You were. Just They've yeah. just caught up a couple with those kills. Yeah, I mean, the, the, this is the problem you're going to have with an AM in the game is that it is like an insurance policy to do well later because AM is just a ball bag uh, and can split push and, and, and win the game for you pretty much on his own. Eventually, it gets to the point where AM is not the be-all and end-all, but it, he can get so, so farmed so quickly that the enemy team can't cope with it. Now he's got his battle fear. He, he's going to quickly rise up the ranks and should become the most farmed guy in the game because he can blink to camps, farm them in a second, blink to the wave, farm that, blink to camps, and he's hard to catch, so he can push up quite far and get lots more farm on the map. But at this level, a lot of fights happen, which is I'm concerned about. They do, but there aren't many. To join fights. That, that's the thing. That's what I was going to say is that because he farms so well, he tends to just farm, and you guys have this. It oh, Daft's been hooked. This is actually not great. You're 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 gonna have a fight at the outpost, so they're gonna TP everybody in. Here comes Slav. Daft needs to turn his back. In comes the the big centaur charge, and they're gonna get Invoker locked down here. The Wish Doctor always doing work though. It's gonna get centaur. Can I get any more? The Grave has come up on the dazzle. They're gonna get him. This Wish Doctor always doing work. Lewis giving Pudge the chase down, but Pudge does have blink. Looks for the hook. He gets Lewis. Oh my, oh, my gosh. goodness! But here comes a. Yeah. On the hook under the tower. Did you use bulldoze? You used bulldoze. You're a god, mate. Well, didn't do anything for me though. No, it almost did. But the point is, do you know how many players I see never use bulldoze? It's such a good spell. It raises your status resistance and move speed. Your status resistance means while that's up. Well, this up, is why because yeah. you told me about it. Exactly. Your stun, the like, stuns that you suffer and everything, and I the was slows like, get me out of this. That you you get you shrug them off with your status resistance, so yeah, you're able to just I, I plow know, through. It meant that Slark's leash is less powerful. Than everything, everything, yeah, all the stuns. Yeah. So he um, clicks, so the oh, there's a fight here, fight to... top. Oh, AM um, oh, got shit. the counter spell off, but it didn't matter because of that leash. BKB now on Slark as well. So you guys gave them time to catch up after a good start. Look, there's the switcheroo. Did you see it? What he gave that? him the old switcher. He turned into a state. He did. He turned, he turned into a he needs, to, he needs to. He needs to chuck a bongo as soon as he can. He couldn't do it. He's not chucking the So he bongos. turns into a death ward. He's untargetable and he can dodge shit. Oh my god. This invoker needs to cast more spells. Daft's now running. Oh, look you how should... low these guys are. Yeah, but, but this is this is trouble. Oh! I don't want, I don't want any of them to get away. <laughs> so greedy. This is oh. good. This is great. Keep quilling, Daff! We can get him. He's going for the roast and I. Yes! Thumb. Lewis got the kill. Get the rest of them. Kill them all! Kill them all! Charges up in a second. Oh, the bulldoze for the... For the... He, you got a bash! Go for the bash! <laughs> no! Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Oh. Whoa. Whoa, that poor creep got eaten. Here comes Enchantress. So we're going to try melee her very slowly. Oh, the centaur! Oh. That might have saved... That might have saved you the kill. That's got you the kill. Pop! Well, there you go. That was um, that was her using her. Oh, Mr. Prank! He missed. He missed. You fool! Was that actually just? Was that actually just? The, that wasn't actually if charges this creep wave. It was, and he just turned into the death world. So weird. Yeah, I, I know. See, I well, I didn't even realize this was a thing. And now, now he's switched off during ulting, and the sun strike on top of him. Prank! He lives. Fucking god, mate. What's Hero. happening over here? Daff is just causing them all kinds of trouble. Oh, so, so Dazzle now has the um, he has Guardian Greaves, and he also has his Q. Oh, he's going for the TP out. There's no way to stop it. Uh oh, TP. Pudge eat. AM dead. Oh, dear. this is getting sloppy. Look at AM's farm now. He's actually sixth. What has he been doing? Not farming. Fighting. That's the problem. He doesn't want to be doing that. Oh, and now Daff is out of position. Give it the Jukes. Yep. Yeah, keep the creep wave in front of the Pudge. Very nice. Now Juke. Juke. Yes. He's quite a fast. Zigzag. Boy, um... Zigzag. Beautiful. So if you keep using those quills, you get movement speed, I think, from Warpath. So it is... It is it yes, is so the Warpath, to... Warpath makes you hit harder, and it makes you um, move faster. So, oh, oh, the charge going in. Ooh, you guys are dividing it between three of you. You might get the Slark here. He does pop his BKB, but quills don't give a shit. Oh, oh the hook, the meatball comes in with a punch. Full. Oh, Ooh. man, this is tough. Dazzle this is tough. Enchantress, Witch Doctor goes invisible. Maledict he does. Is on that pudge. He might die. Only he had a glimmer. The Maledict might get the pudge. In comes Scooby Doo. Him and Shallow Graven him, keeping him alive. And then AM hey, back in. For Dazzle's doing great. Yeah. Dazzle is doing great. Well, there's a hook. Just misses. 
Dazzle is really giving your AM problems here, and now it's 3v1 on Mr. Pranky. He's gonna get a god kill here, maybe. Didn't have Maledict on the slot, that's a shame. Oh, this has all gone south. These fights are so sloppy and messy. So Scooby-Doo has a Battle Fury and a Yasha and has not added to his value since then. Slark loves these fights. He's got BKB Echo Saber. He wants these fights, so you are playing into their timing. People talk about t your timings in Dota a lot. When is your hero strongest? When is it ready to fight? This is not AM's time. You guys struggled to create enough space for him by, I, I, I mean, I think you tried, but it was these weird dribs and drabs fights. I mean, I honestly think if enough of you had gone in there, Witch Doctor, Bristle, Spirit Breaker, and Invoker should be able to buy enough space for an AM to just farm and split push. Because okay. that applies pressure to the enemy team. If AM is split pushing up here, and the entire enemy team is visible here, they're like, shit, the AM's gonna take our buildings, we've gotta go back. And they, th you sort of put them off fighting. What's happening at the moment is that you're, you're playing into their timing. This is when they're strongest. There's the meatball, there's the hook on Pranky! Can't get the, oh, he no, can't get the, the pop trouble. off. AM's gonna try and help him, but he does manage to turn into a death wolf for a couple of seconds, but this isn't gonna buy him enough time. Oh, it's all going south. In comes the charge, just catch three of them, but the invoker doesn't have spells. He can, he can invoke spells. Why he's invoked Sunstrike, I don't know. This isn't gonna cut it. Oh no, invoker, no. You need the control, the tornado. Oh, he couldn't get it off in time. This is a disaster. Ooh. This is a disaster. Ooh. Ultra kill for Pudge. I cancelled my charge as well at the end there because I was so, so, I was so panicked and frenetic and like it, it. So what you're saying is, I guess like it's now their time. We need to play more defensively. Well, it, it was their time about seven or eight minutes ago. Right, um, I see. And you guys fought constantly. It, it wasn't like you sent four of you in there to look for pickoffs. Looking at your vision, you guys have this ward by their outpost, which is fine, but. You kind of just fought around the outpost, so they kept TPing in. Lads, every time there's a fight, they brought everyone. And you guys were not bringing everyone. You're sending in like dribs and drabs. Like one extra lad turns up for the right. fight, but it's already lost. So this has been um, a real shame because I think you guys absolutely did great early on. My carry is Herald 1. Oh, they're angry. Yeah, he is Herald 1. The AM didn't seem to understand that this is a farming build and he's been fighting for the last 10 minutes. He's just going in. This lad is nuts. Oh no. Dazzle Hex. Daff is tanking it like a beast. Oh, this is nice Frankie from Witch Doctor, the, but it's been the hooked. Death Wolf from the top, but yeah, he got but this stunned is, by something. He, he got hooked. He got I hooked die, by, Daff uh, dies. By yeah, we're just feeding him now at this point. Yeah, this is really bad. I don't oh, know we what should AM's hide the thing at the bottom, the by the way. Hide the, um, the Oh, the bar, yeah, sorry. Because, you know. Yeah, that's it. We know, we know that there's no time left then, you're right. I didn't, I didn't even look at it, so I don't even know. It's How long is left? He's got no mana left, but you guys would need a charge. Here it comes. Can, do we have the lockdown? Oh, that's not great. But the ice wall's nice. Scooby get punched a little bit. But yeah. He's getting out Scooby Doo just needs to There's go farm. Invoker. Look at how hard it is to kill this lad. I know. Look how tanky he is. And here comes Pudge. Gonna Dazzle by Boca just with the rot. Frankie's running away. I'm gonna die to Slark. There's the lovely bongos. M might I say, this this witch doctor has spent 4,200 gold on an axe and 1,400 gold on the switcheroo. Now, there are multiple times when a four staff or a glimmer is all he needs to save people and he just can't. He's built this as if he's going to be the guy that I'll carry the game, lads. Don't worry, I'm a witch doctor, I'll win. So even though he's got 13 kills and 10 assists, you cannot look at this performance. And I'm saying this to all the noobs out there who watch this and think, oh yeah, I'm a witch doctor, I rushed that every time, mate. I went 13, 5 and 10, but my carry's a noob, so he lost. Don't blame your carry for your shitty itemization. Get your fucking support items and then worry about all these luxury things. Because look, he's got no way to escape. I see. So now he dies to Pudge again. He doesn't have a glimmer. He doesn't have any way to escape. It's just foolishness. Selfish Dota gameplay. This is what yeah, it is, though. It's annoying. Oh, no. <sighs> so Dazzle building, look at that, straight into the Guardian Greaves, which are honestly so good. They they, 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 they purge around. Uh, they, they give big heals. They work so well with the Pudge and the Centaur because they keep him alive for even longer. That's yeah. What he needs. Is that no? I, I disagree. He needs he needs a glimmer and he needs four stuff because they're so good. This is why I'm in the trench. I love I love I, I was loving this Guardian Groove's build. I was like very supportive, very useful. <laughs> yeah, it's, don't get me wrong. It's nice to get, but you oh. don't need it first item. Did it's I such a luxury. You died to Enchantress. From, yeah. From her. Look at this Pudge. Look how look he, look how we've just are yeah. so desperate to. Kill He's him, so yeah. big. 
He's just and surviving there's the e. Gordon. Yep, nice BKB nerd. Scooby Doo dead too. Ultra kill for Pudge. He might perish. Enchantress can't heal him. She's got no mana, but no, he's good. He's still got 300 health. It looks like he's on <laughs> two health, but he's fine. Look at his regen with the heart. And he has I 29 stacks of flesh heap. So his strength is currently 257. But man, it was actually a really fun game. Um, okay. This one with Daff. Well, you're just being uh, fountain camp. Now. How was Daff? Like, I, I know there's some now some weird focus on me, but he, how yeah. was Daff? Um, because this is what it's about. Our boy, our boy in blue, our so hero, our bristle. I think he felt... I, I'm I'm bristle like I'm I'm in, un, indestructible. But the problem is he didn't keep his back like right there. He just walks up and get one punched by by centaur. Um, he needs to keep his back to the enemy more and focus on his quills and just being obnoxious. Um, I, so I think he did it right. Um, in terms of his build, I quite like it. The the eternal shroud was the right pick. He was right there. But uh, yeah, the game is over. But honestly, your AM. That, that middle period where you guys just fought non-stop for like 10 minutes and lost all every fight, big problem. Big problem. <laughs> you guys needed to not fight and actually just try and farm on this AM and become unstoppable. What did you think of the game, huh? What was oh, it, what was it? It, just it a was classic. A, it was a joy we'll, playing we'll with We'll live Daff. long I, in my memory. I loved it. I'm glad oh, yeah. you enjoyed playing with Daff. That's awesome. But uh, many boo-boos were made. Uh, this team, the itemization, again, one of the biggest factors, as usual at this level. The itemization and playing for themselves, people not understanding that it's a team game, and, yeah. and timings. The, the anti-mage had to just farm. You guys could have created space, dragged them around the map without all funneling into your deaths. Uh, and I think Daff mm. thought he was indestructible when he was not. Well, there you go. We'll be back next week. I've got a very special one, actually, for you next oh. week. Featuring Joe. Oh, um, oh wow. Okay, well, yeah, Joe's good. We played, we played a game with Joe, so that'll be, that'll be coming up. Uh, next week. Thank you, everyone, for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.